Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last session we completed the Omega DLC. We got Arya back in control of Omega. We took down the dude that was uh, in charge of that operation. One of the top people under the elusive man. And uh, that was a couple of weeks ago for me. Uh, I've been away and uh, so now we are jumping back in. And uh, I will... I <laughs> need a little bit to get back up to speed with what we were doing. I think we have... My goodness, there was a lot to scroll up there. I think we have... Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we have one more side mission to do. Apparently, there's a lot more than I uh, remembered. And actually, this is probably all stuff that I can hand in, right? I mean, Lord knows. Because <laughs> it, it doesn't update, right? It doesn't update to say uh, when you've got something that this is asking you to get so yeah I don't know <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to head back to the Citadel before too long and uh, hand that stuff in but I'm pretty sure that there was like another side quest that I had to do right wasn't there maybe uh, find ex Cerberus scientists that is probably the one I was thinking of there's also this at 83% for some reason why didn't I finish that not sure Uh, most of this is done. I've, I'm pretty sure this one that wasn't done, uh, I had checked. And then there's the next main quest. I'm pretty sure I checked that one as well. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting up to speed. Right, let's, um, let's check out whatever the last 17% here is. And, uh, complete these systems. Uh, that's 100%. This is 100%. These are not. Huh. It's 83% recovered, but there's still two systems, which I haven't done anything with. So I guess there's going to be like one thing in each, maybe? Or maybe one thing in one of them and nothing in the other? Boop. Was there a mission here? Maybe there was a mission here or something. I feel like there's just nothing in that one. Let's check out Kalini. I found something. Well. Faster than light jump successful. Is it just fuel? It is just fuel. And is that 100% in the system? Evasion successful. That is 100% in the system. Okay, well that was a very simple way to start the day. Alrighty, so let us jump to this side quest over here then. Find the ex Cerberus scientists. I'm guessing this is not an N7 mission then. I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time with the uh, Asari Monastery one. Uh, and assume it's a nothing y side quest uh, and it's actually some big deal. Find ex Cerberus scientists. Okay, so let me just jump back out and let me check the journal and see what it says. Why does it keep putting me down the bottom of that page? Uh. Let's see, let's see. Do any of these, are any of these obviously, there we go. A group of top level scientists have cut ties with Cerberus and are fleeing their former employer. Rescue the scientists before Cerberus can find them. Okay. So, it's a Cerberus focused mission. Uh, <laughs> in my head I was like, cool, let's take like Miranda and Jacob. And then I realized that this is not Mass Effect 2. Uh, Gellix was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo amino acid based world that they could not inhabit themselves, but were unwilling to give up. Man, isn't that just great? <laughs> you can't have this world. We, we must have it. We can't live here, but we just don't want you to have it. <laughs> uh... In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and a surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, Gallix found few reputable tenants. 
Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of it today, Galix is a symbol of tragic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. You hate to hear it. So, uh, who do we have that would be best for Cerberus? Well, Caden fucking hates Cerberus. So maybe Caden. Uh, and Edie, I guess, as she was, she came from Cerberus, her AI, at least. Uh, Garrus, not really Cerberus related. Liara, not really Cerberus related. Javik, not really Cerberus related. And James, not really Cerberus related. So I think the best bet for this would be these two. Uh, what were your appearances again? Got your beefy one. I do just definitely prefer that one. Uh, and what were your appearances? You've got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, yeah, I definitely just prefer this one for you. Okay. Let's do it. Actually taking Caden out by choice? Who am I? What have I become? Uh... I think everyone was pretty good with their weapons. Did I have any points to spend? Oh, that's right! <laughs> I fucking maxed shit out. Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, increase recharge speed by 40% or suspend targets in the air for a short time. Uh, what is a short time? It doesn't say. <laughs> Could you give me like a, a guesstimate? Recharge speed going from 2.94 seconds to 2.57 seconds doesn't really seem like an upgrade worth getting. <laughs> that is, uh, would you like to shave 0.4 seconds off your cooldown? No, I'm good. And then I guess we'll start putting points into pull. Increase recharge speed, sure. I mean, I'm never, never going to use this, but like... <laughs> What else am I going to spend it on? Not cryo ammo, that's for sure. Uh, hey, look at our reputation bar. We are we are just a smidge away from maxed out. Uh, Edie, you have a lot more we can do with you. Uh, let us put your decoy up, I think. Increase duration, increase shields. Uh, duration is 19 seconds. That's long enough. Let's increase the shields. Uh, increase recharge speed from 12 to 10 seconds or shock enemies for 200 points. Yes, let's go with that. And last but not least, decoy explodes causing 600 damage or fat, fat shields and duration increase. Mm. Decoy explodes on destruction. What if it just times out? And how far is 4 meters in game? It's not that far, is it? I think we'll probably just go with the shields, even though that is more, like, visually fun, I guess. I feel like this is probably the choice. And Caden, uh... Let's whack up your cryoblast. Decrease movement speed of chilled targets by an additional 20, or increase damage to chilled and frozen targets by 10. Let's do that. Uh, increase damage to frozen and chilled targets by 15, weaken armored targets by 25, or recharge speed from 9 to 6. No, we'll go with that. Sounds good. Aight. Aight, let's go. Let's get back into it. Time to see if I can remember how to play a shotgun What's charge word? class. Do you know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Great! More okay. target practice. Set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Hello, fool. I hope you're looking forward to dying this day. Oh shit! A 
And then Jacob got shot in the head. Oh my god, he actually did get shot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought <laughs> I thought he just I thought they'd all have stormtrooper aim, you know. Okay, defend the scientists. All right, just keep moving. This looks very similar to the place we were at before. Okay, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. How's it going? This isn't the same place as... No, I don't think it is. It just looks very similar to that, uh, that other snowy map. But I think that was an N7 one, right? Is there anything up here? Right, that's the run button. That's good to have. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to stick on our incendiary ammo. Can't be forgetting that. We've got incinerate for you. That's pretty good. We've got cryoblast for you. That is also pretty good. I need to be looking around because you never know when another mission's objective will be hiding in the side mission. So, gotta be thorough. But I don't think there's anything around here, so let's head on down. Let's get our first charge. Push! Push forward! Yeet! How's it hanging? Maybe we can flag these Bop. guys. Watch for it. Okay. Commander. Nice try. Ayo, cheeky level. Cheeky. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Hello, Jacob. I'd offer you a spot on my ship, but I'm afraid we just don't have any free rooms, apart from all of the free rooms. But they're just not really free, because I like to use them to store, like... A couple of chairs in and stuff. So I'm afraid we don't have the space for you, man. But, you know, I hope you're doing well. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. It's okay, Bryn. Jacob, have you got a you got a girlfriend? Is that she sounded uh sounded very worried. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. You're not doing a very good job of it. Gone? They they all just died. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, or maybe you should, you know, time. see a medic? This one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeesh. But wait, we blew up the collector base, so how are you working on bits from the collector base exactly? Just like, pieces of the rubble? The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Can we just like, find out where the elusive man's camped out? Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. 
Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Like, you really should well, now. I should speak to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. As he limps Jacob, slowly nice forward. Is maybe an opportunity to surprise you. <laughs> Let's just focus on the mission. No, no, please, please do. As he's limping, like, hunched over, hobbling forward, going, I'll be fine. I'm like, you fucking idiot. Dr. Burrell, I'm so sorry. Jamie, I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. What am I going to do without him? Finish the work you started. Our work? Are you crazy? We're all going to die here. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. I mean, he's not, but you might. Boom. Hello. Hey, I can talk to you. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We oh, no! This is fucking Captain Dickhead, isn't it? it? Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news for me. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let him worry. I mean... That is incredibly tempting. Fucking... This dude is Mr. Fuck. But he has run away from Cerberus. So I guess that gets him a slight morality point boost. Not sure running away from Cerberus is enough to counteract the massive negative morality point boost he got from torturing and experimenting on his fucking brother. But, uh, sure. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his Yeah. Now. I never stopped. Fuck off. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. And then you tortured your own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. Banter, got him, fucking wrecked. Just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. I feel like we should be able to use... Like, assuming that the elusive man, like, that thing, that, like, sun or whatever that he's looking out onto, assuming that's not just, like, a projection and that is actually, like, where he's located, I feel like we should be able to, like, triangulate the position of the stars or something and fucking go knock on his door and murder him. You know, I feel like we should be able to just find out where he's at and shut him down. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. Good banter. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Sure. Yes, Commander. That's all. Good day, Commander. Good day, I'd say. Yes, good day, Commander. <laughs> Credits. Okie doke. Private message from Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares, kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk. Yeesh, what did they find? <laughs>
Weapon bench, I'm good. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. I really want to see what joke Edie plays on Jacob. Definitely made the right call bringing her. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. He has very bright green eyes, that dude. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43. Plus research assistants. Pretty fancy covert op you orchestrated. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? A dangerous choice. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Great! Partners, I'm sure Cerberus friends. won't kill them. Oh, wait. These people no. Refuge. Cerberus are terrorists. Are free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Yep. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped... We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the room. No, you're not. You're going Service to get medical help, you minutes. fucking idiot. Win. Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm you going. cannot even walk straight. Just because straight. you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Uh, fine. But I'm going to talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Alright, that sounds better. This fucking idiot, man. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Well, she didn't say that they're together. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. A little bit. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. It took and until four. Now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. <laughs> like, in three previous cases, a colleague had finished their work and then vanished without a trace. And they still didn't go, hmm, maybe something's wrong here, until a fourth one did? So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Huh. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense Wait. for technical perfection. Am I going insane? That technical perfection. It also strange to think Maybe. Of. But then life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? I was going insane. There was only two options. I when I I listened to I listened to you escape from Cerberus and tell me about your experiment. 
And then I hit investigate again, and there were only two options. And I was like, I fucking swear there were three. And then I clicked that one again. And I was like, wait, but this is just what we've already heard. And then I go investigate again, and now it's back to three. But the Cerberus work one's moved to the bottom. And running from Cerberus has moved to the top. Gotta love these dialogue wheels. Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life. Where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Okay. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Oakley Dokley. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Calm down. Commander Shepard. So what? So relax. We've got a little time. A uh, personal log for Bryn. With Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makeda, Scott, Daniel, Chunhei, Anika. And so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace. Just like that. Don't know if it's Chunhei? Chun Not sure if I pronounced that right. Uh, we should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited We waited so long. I can't remember what, what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? I wonder if that was some indoctrination shit? Some, like, low-level indoctrination shit? Like, love, uh, like, indoctrinated to care most about Cerberus above all other things? Potentially. I don't know if that would have started at that point. Personal log for Domini Sengupta. Attempts are at, uh, ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it's obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant, with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what whole, what said whole might be, and that's what scares me the most. Well, if it's about how the Reapers were controlling the Collectors, then it's about how the elusive man can control people. Die to save this data. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. I don't want to die. Go. Just go. No, no. I'm okay. Let's just do this. Uh, outpost report, Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Oh, hey. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Uh, what about the war? Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals. Their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. Seems like a waste of your skills. I'll take that as a compliment. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. Hey! You, this enclave, you settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... You know, if you don't get killed. Final days, <laughs> I want to spend them protecting these people. I life, knew it. Whatever's left of it. I knew it. I could sense. Uh, wait, fuck. Which one did I just do? I think I, I think tell me about Dr. Cole is the one we just did, right? And then it's randomly, I like, why have it so that they shift around on the dialogue wheel? It just makes me forget which ones I've done. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. That's, that's it? <laughs> that's the entire conversation about his father? You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Okay, man. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, 
Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? Yes. I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? That, that was where yourself. the blindness came in. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Okay. Still. Oh. Still haven't found any, like, side quest I stuff. We covered our bases. There's a war on. What does he want with us? Why does he care? Who knows? He's crazy. You can't plan for crazy. Right, this is where I came in. Uh, okay. Told you should have gone to sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here alive. These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. A hastily assembled militia is no match for a Cerberus force of any kind. No, <laughs> definitely not. Cerberus forces are pretty nutty. What was that little cutscene thing it just showed me? That was weird. Heads up. And head straight back down. Where did the other guy go? Hi. We must locate the satellite tower. Doke. How do I get up this ledge? Do I just... Ah. Like that! Oh yeah? Uh, okay. You guys don't really have anything. Wait, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. That is a that is a beefy gun. Could have sworn I just saw a little red uh, a little red look at thing. Maybe it was just a dude. Hi. AA 
guns manually. Okay. Am I missing anything? Doesn't appear so. I feel like I might be though. I don't know. <laughs> I'm forever paranoid. I can't get up here, right? Maybe later? Anything for me? The other gun is still down. Let's get over there. Where's the guy that was controlling this gun? Did he just, did he just dip out? It was like, nah, fuck this. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Uh, ED, you're probably best. ED, I need you to fix this. I will make the repairs. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Can I get Bring on this off. turret? I sure can. <laughs> oh, right, I can zoom in. Oh my god, it tears so hard. I, I think I've used one of these before, right? Or am I thinking of when I was in the Atlas? It just, it just, so powerful. So insanely powerful. The way it just breaks them into chunks. Oh no. We good? Guns may now be brought online. Gotcha. We Gucci. I mean, you could just press it yourself, Edie. It doesn't take a fucking genius to push that in and twist it around a little, but uh, sure. Guns operational. Shepard, AA guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. There we go. Done and done. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Uh... I mean, the fact that he says we could go now, but we don't want to leave anything behind that strengthens the elusive man's cause means if we say evacuate immediately, they will leave something behind that strengthens the elusive man's cause. So we should say not yet? Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Uh, wait. Oh. That was not... Never mind. It was just a do you want to keep looking around or not thing, I guess. Does anyone else have anything? Do you have anything new to say? No? Did I already read this? Oh, it's credits. How did I miss that? I assume there's not like any new stuff put around here, right? So I can just... It's if you wanted to chat with them some more. But I already did all the chatting, so... The evacuation is progressing. Is there anything else? 
What's your relationship with Jacob? We she doesn't say, right? An old colleague through Jacob's eye. I guess I was. Ill. I get that. I don't know. Yeah, no, she never says that together. Uh, okay. Well, then we can go. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Turning those fucking airships into confetti. Shuttle one is away. <laughs> woo, All right. Woo, Everyone yeah. here, head to the shuttle bay and. Uh oh. Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are. Uh oh. Get those people out of here. I thought we were done. We're not done. I really thought we were done. Okay, where are we going then? Shepard, shuttles are loaded. We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. I'll meet you down there. Back down this way, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go, people. That's why there's a workbench there. Then get up the it's landing. for coming on the way out. Smart. Oh my god, his head just disappeared. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Oh, that's a lot of them. Hello. Lol, get fucking punched off the map, I guess. <laughs> Donk. Any more? What's your status? The facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. Absolutely not what I wanted to do. Jacob, landing area clear. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Coming from? What the fuck? They're coming from inside the base. Nice shot. Oh god, that's a better shot. That looked like it hit him, but that would destroy him if it hit him. Jacob, get your ass back in here.
We were about to leave without him. Skin of our teeth again, hey Shepard. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. Feels I was good. We wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Do 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 do. When you can't afford to turn I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt, I'm at your service. Oh, you hear that, Jacob? Count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. Damn, man, that's you know, if I that's how you feel... I hope you can see that. If that's how you feel, then you go ahead and don't Keep come to safe. the Normandy. <laughs> the Alliance needs that. Ah, oh, it's a shame I couldn't convince you. you. got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. <laughs> you know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Likewise. Thanks. Shepard. When this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. You too, man. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectives. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Hackett, can you tell me how many main missions are left? Because it's probably that number minus one until the Crucible is finished. <laughs> just so we... just so we know our plan. <laughs> that... <laughs> That was just a joke, by the way. Please do not tell me how many main missions are left uh, in the comments. I do not actually want to know. Uh, ex Cerberus scientist. The elusive man's search for humanity's best attracted many renowned scientists. Cerberus offered generous salaries, brand new facilities, and unfettered research budgets. Despite these lavish perks, some began to worry about the ethical ramifications of their work. The scientists rescued from Gellix were among the first to leave Cerberus. They diligently helped to construct the Crucible. Bryn Cole is an ex-Cerberus scientist who studied the technology left behind by the Collectors. She eventually cut ties with the Elusive Man and helped dozens of scientists and their families flee the organization. The Doctor has joined the Crucible Project using the knowledge gained during her employment with Cerberus to help build the weapon. Dr. Gavin Archer. Dr. Gavin Archer is, the w is worth the same amount of points as fucking Cole? Gavin Archer was a well-known synthetic intelligence specialist from Terra Nova who disappeared years ago to work with Cerberus. Now he's parted ways with his former employer, Archer is among the scientists working on the Crucible. His study of VIs and AIs, in particular the Geth, gives him unique insights into parallel processing and inter-system communication that have already improved the weapon's efficiency. And Jacob Taylor. After helping Commander Shepard destroy the Collectors, Jacob Taylor cut his ties with Cerberus. He joined the war following an attack on a safe house for former Cerberus operatives, where he was hiding out. Jacob turned down formal reinstatement into the Alliance Marine Corps, feeling his past with Cerberus disqualified him from their company. Huh? Hello, we're the Alliance Marine Corps, and we want to reinstate you. No, I, I am disqualified from that. People who are part of that and telling me that I'm not disqualified. <laughs> uh, Taylor is instead a consultant advising the Alliance on Cerberus tactics and defenses. He also participates in missions that target the elusive man's holdings. Sure, you you know, you do you, Jacob. I can't work with the Alliance. I used to work for Cerberus. I'm tainted. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Cool, cool. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. <laughs> you're turning into a regular marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. No, I'm not. I'm not femshep. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander. Trainer's great. Love trainer. Right. Uh. I don't think anyone will have anything to say about this except for Caden. 
right? How's Jacob, Commander? Shit. Commander? Fuck. You know what I did there? <laughs> I, uh... Pressed A to talk to him, and then as I moved my finger away from the A button, I accidentally knocked it again. And that hit the talk button a second time and skipped his fucking dialogue. God damn it. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one is. Is this a valuable use Everything of your time, changed. Edie? <laughs> All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. I was thinking about dinner. Hello, Shepard. Oh, that is such a fucking bummer. He was asking about Jacob, and then I'm just like, no, we're not talking about Jacob. Ah, <sighs> That is the one downside of having paddles on your controller, is... It is much easier to knock a paddle than it is to knock a just a regular face button. All right, he was in here, right? Nope, that's the fucking restroom. What, what room am I thinking of? I'm thinking of this. God damn it. Hey. There you are. Here I am. Are you flirting with me? Uh, what? <laughs> If you have to ask, I'm clearly out of practice. Ah! Uh, got time? You'll have to let me practice. Ah! Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Where's the where's the option to decline? Uh oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Doctor Cole and her team. They seem like like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? Uh, well, so long as they're not shooting at us, then don't shoot them and, uh... Tell me what you think we should do. Go from there. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... So, yeah, you know... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we help as many as we can. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Absolute tool. Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> saw it coming from Sorry. Mass Effect 1. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. I mean, not exactly. Obviously... Something. We didn't know much about Cerberus and Mass Effect 1. We didn't know that they would become an actual, like, main force. But we certainly knew that Cerberus were complete fucking scum from the first time we ever heard of them. Does it matter what he was, Caden? What good he may have done in the past? He's become power hungry. He's deluded and wrong. But this? No. Yep. <laughs> I never saw this coming from him. Shepard didn't. I fucking did. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk. I can't believe he didn't give me the option to, to, to shut him down. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. He's like, talking about how he's flirting with me and how he needs to get some practice in with me another time. And there's no option to say like, 
I'm good, man. In a in a relationship, you know. Liara's just just over there. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. Sure. Oh right. Didn't everyone want to see me on the Citadel? Got a vague memory that the next time I was going to go to the Citadel, like, I'd had a thing from a lot of people saying they wanted to see me there. Still nothing in here. Which we're about to do, I think. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. Oh. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. Oh. That just means you're old. <laughs> Damn. Fucking jabs. Getting the jabs in. Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. <laughs> Shepard. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Oh, you don't have anything to say? You're both real soldiers. My goodness. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. F. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Email from Jacob Taylor to Bryn. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. When we push out with the Crucible, what does that mean? Sounds like he's thinking that we're going to be taking the Crucible, like, around the galaxy and, like, shooting the Reapers with it. But I thought the idea was that it has, like, mass relay shit in it and we're just going to push a button and it's going to win the day. I mean, I saying that, saying that out loud, that would be very anticlimactic if it was just like, <laughs> we finished building it, push the button, we win! <laughs> like, so it's... It's gonna be more to it than that, but I thought that was the idea. I don't know. Uh, I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. You know what? I'm glad he's found someone. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all oh, day. Oh, this stars. is one we can walk away and come back to. Those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. <laughs> Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly. What? <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. Aw, oh, damn it, that was a lie. That would be super cool. Hey, Commander. Shepard. That would be so fucking cool if that was true. How far away do I need to get? You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. 
We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always <laughs> got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. Fuck and yeah. Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. Fuck yeah. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. Let's hope With so. With a little help from their friends. <laughs> nah, it was just us. But mostly me. <laughs> They get by with a little help from their friends. That sounded like it was the end, but let's just check one more time. Yeah, that was the end. Okay, cool. Uh, no one else in here. I mean, there's Chakwas, but she never has anything to say. So, let's head on down. Jacob, we're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? <laughs> we have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. <laughs> I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. <laughs> that is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise... What, you think you could try and fucking kill me? Perhaps later, Commander. You could try. Many have. None have succeeded. Actually, tell a lie. One big fucking collector ship succeeded. I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. Yeah, for good reason. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now. Let me know when we do. <laughs> Man, there was a lot more, a uh, lot more people chatting about stuff on the ship than I was expecting. I really thought it was going to be nothing. I guess it's just nothing after the N7s. Everything okay, Shepard? Everything is in order. I guess that's the only time that everyone has fuck all to say. Uh, wait, where's? Oh, <laughs> where's Jacob? I don't know. It's almost as though we just fucking spoke to him with Garrus. Cool. Okay, well, I do believe that is every single thing that we can do uh, in terms of side quests right now. Uh, recover them from Garvuk in the Valhallen Threshold. Doesn't seem to be a place we have yet. Uh, Selaean Nebula. Don't think we've got this yet. Or, may like, maybe we have, and because it wouldn't update, so maybe... It depends if they're, like, side missions or if they're just, like, stuff to scan on planets. Like, we might have got a bunch of these, honestly. Uh, that's the priority. Uh, that's the fucking bugged one. Uh, just a bunch of Citadel stuff, DLC stuff. And then I, if, what's it, what's it in our emails? Yeah, it was the emails that were like, hey, come, come see us. Uh, Wait, no, that was that. Here we go. Wait, no. Am I imagining this? I could have sworn, I could have sworn I got a bunch of emails or something that were asking me, maybe it was just from speaking to people? Am I going, am I going insane? I could have sworn a bunch of people wanted to meet me on the Citadel. 
Well, we're about to find out because uh, that is everything in this joint. So it's time to head back to the Citadel. It is time to do everything there that we can do. And then once we have cleared all side stuff we possibly can, it'll be time for the Far Rim speaking with the Quarians and hopefully Tally as well. But yes, before we do that, let us head up, head on down to the Citadel and finish up all the side stuff. <laughs>